Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a super short set and I'm going to be doing it in coffin shape. So I'm just going to start off by pushing back her cuticles and the whole point of this is to remove any dead skin from her nail plate so that that doesn't cause any lifting. If you don't remove this and you just apply acrylic over that then it's go you're going to for sure have lifting. So after I push back your cuticles, I'm going to go in with the fine sanding band and I'm just going to like further remove any dead skin and just start prepping her nail, removing the shine. Also, it's really important to remove the shine because if you don't remove the shine from the natural nail, then those natural oils are going to cause lifting. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys can tell but I have the machine going super slow um, if you notice when I pick it up you can actually see it like moving so and also when I have it on the on her nail like this you could see that it's just really 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 slow like I barely have any speed on this I don't like to have the machine going so fast when I'm working on natural nails I'm really just trying to remove the shine I'm not trying to thin down her nails so after I remove all her shine, I'm going to go in now with my nippers and I'm going to remove any lifted cuticle, any dead skin. Um, she also had like a couple hangnails on the side, so I did pick those off as well. A good way to practice cutting cuticle is grabbing a uh, tangerine the fruit and trying to peel it with the nipper in a straight line without cutting it past like that white layer that it has you know how it has like the like the top um, orange layer and then it has like a white layer and then it's like the fruit the meat part so basically try to cut that in a straight line without grabbing too much of it so basically if, if you peel it all the way down to to the fruity part to the actual colored part then that means that you cut your client so that's a good way to practice cutting cuticle if you're too scared to actually practice on somebody so now that i'm done cleaning up your cuticle i'm gonna go in with a 100 180 grit file this file is available at artistry beauty supply and I'm just going to be shaping her nails a little bit. I'm just going to be rounding rounding them out. Just kind of honestly just even them out because her nails were already short to begin with. So I'm going to be going in with some natural nail tips. These tips are available at Artistry Beauty Supply as well. And so is this glue that I'm using. I'm using the KDS glue. And I'm just going to be putting a dot of that on her nail. And then I'm just going to be placing the tip holding it for a couple seconds until the glue dries and then I will let go and do the next nail so now it's time to cut her nails I cut her ring finger first and I asked her if that's the thing that she wanted she said yes so now I'm just going to be measuring them with the other nails these little scissors that I'm using are available at Artistry Beauty Supply as well To do the coffin shape, we're just going to be cutting the little corners into like a triangle situation to just create that coffin look. Um, I always explain to my clients when they're getting shorter nails, the shorter you get the nail, the less coffin your nail will look because of course there's not enough length to really make it look coffin coffin. Yeah. 
So when you're cutting the sides of the nail, your nail doesn't have to look perfect. Sometimes it actually looks a little crazy, like you overdid it or or you just they just look crazy. So that's where the hand file comes in. The hand file is what's gonna save your shape and create to your shape. So I'm just gonna be filing the sides first. So left side, right side. And I'm just trying to shape it into a straight mode. Um, I'm not really bringing in my file too much or like rounding it out. So once everything is shaped, I'm going to go in with my fine sanding band again and I'm going to just be blending in that tip into the natural nail. And the whole point of this is also, you know, to prevent any lifting because I feel like if you don't do this and more specifically the corners of the tip, if they're like really poked out like that, then I feel like that's just gonna be really ugly and not natural looking and it's just gonna cause lifting so I always blend the tip before I apply any acrylic and now I'm going in with my nail cleanser this cleanser is available at Artistry Beauty Supply and I'm gonna be using Koopa ink nail primer today And I do always apply two coats of primer. So I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite colors. This is Cover Pink from Artistry Beauty Supply. This is the half ounce size. I do have it available in one ounce as well. This is just a super fresita color to me i don't know if you guys understand spanish but it's like a straw like a very strawberry shake type of situation to me so i'm just gonna be applying this to the pinky nail and i'm just gonna be pushing this up to the cuticle that's always kind of like my first step just kind of place the cuticle and just make sure that the cuticle is looking nice and then i'm gonna then focus on the rest of the nail I feel like when you're applying cuticle, the most important part is the cuticle area. If your cuticle area is messed up, then the rest of your nail is going to be messed up because that's going to cause lifting. It can make your nail look bulky. It could just throw everything off in general. And if your cuticle area is too bulky, then you are going to be spending a lot of time filing it with the machine. So that's not good. So I'm going to be applying clear to this one because we are going to be doing a glitter nail on this one. So again, I place my cuticle. Well, why do I keep saying cuticle? I place my acrylic on the nail and then I'm just going to be pushing that up to the cuticle area. Once that's up there and nice, I'm going to move on and just basically brush and drag down any excess acrylic that there is on the nail. <laughs> So one more time, I'm going to be grabbing my bead. I do like to grab a little bit kind of a bigger bead and then I'm just draining out the liquid, placing it on the nail. And as you see, I just bring that up towards the cuticle area. Again, still playing with the cuticle area, just tucking that in there, making sure that everything is nice, flat and smooth. And then now I'm going to work side to side. So left side bring that all the way to the right come back to the left just just like a motion basically and i'm just gonna be knocking off any excess acrylic like i did there and i always make sure that my sides are really straight if you don't 
if you just focus on getting that off there then your nail is going to end up looking like round if you're not like tucking in the sides of the nail too So I'm going to let her nails sit for like 3 or 5 minutes before I do this step just to make sure that her nails are fully dry. But once they are dry, I'm going to be going in with a fine carbide bit. And I'm just going to be going around her cuticle area and around her whole entire nail just to like get rid of any excess acrylic around her cuticle area. And that's going to prevent any lifting. Also, when I go around the body of her nail, it's just to debulk the nail, just to make sure that everything is nice and straight and smooth. Some people don't agree on this step, but to each their own. I feel like every nail tech works the way that they find fit. So, if this isn't your cup of tea, you know, I'm sorry, but this is the way that I like to do nails. <laughs> I'm coming back in with my fine sanding band so I do use this a couple times during my full sets and again on a medium to low speed I'm just going to be going one more time around all of her nails and this is just going to make sure that all of her nails are super smooth get rid of any major lines that the other bit might have left or any imperfections this is just going to really smooth it out <laughs> And I'm just going to do this on all of her nails and then I will be back and I will just shape all of her nails with the 100 180 grit file that I used earlier and this hand file and the sanding bands are both available at Artistry Beauty Supply. <laughs> I 
I will also leave everything linked below, like the direct link to our distributor supplies products. And I will also leave in the description any other products that I have been using. So I'm going in with an orange nail buffer and then this is gonna further smooth out the nail. So these last couple steps are basically just about smoothing out and making sure that the nail looks even. So this is just gonna really make everything very nice and soft and just prepare it for polish. So when you do polish, your polish doesn't look bumpy, it doesn't look streaky, it doesn't look like, like grainy or nothing like that. It just looks really smooth so this is key to smooth polish so now i'm gonna go in with our distributor supply nail cleanser i am almost running out of this one so basically i just spray all her nails and then i go in with the little manicure brush and i just brush all of that off that's removing all the dust any oil and just cleaning them up for polish for her nail design i'm gonna start off with this pink gel brush this gel brush is available at our beauty supply don't mind mine it's already a little bit dirty but i am going to be using this pink metal glitter from our beauty supply as well they do go by number, so I will be showing you guys what number this gel is. I'm going to be cleaning up any mistakes with just this little brush and a little bit of acetone. I went ahead and I cured this under the lamp for 30 seconds and then I took it back out and now I'm applying a second coat. I'm not just applying the coat over again, I did cure it again for 30 seconds before applying this second coat. <laughs> So moving on to her next finger, I'm now going to be using this little liner brush and I'm just going to be creating a little smile line using the same gel. So I'm just going to bring that from side to side and just bring it into like a little oval shape. okay so i cured that for one minute under the led lamp and now i'm going to repeat the process just to start adding more pigmentation to the design
I'm gonna be adding one more coat of glitter to the ring finger. And this is the glitter that I'm using, so it's A382 in the metal glitter section from Artistry Beauty Supply. And once this is cured, I'm going to go in with my Koopa Ink No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm also going to cure this for 60 seconds. And that's it for this video thank you guys again so much for watching if you guys like this video go ahead and like and subscribe for me and i am posting every mondays wednesdays and fridays now